if you are going out to cold approach or practice your social skills, don't copy exactly what the coaches are doing that you are following on YouTube. So hilariously, um, definitely over the years, uh, with every coach that I've helped to build their YouTube channel, they have obviously become a little bit of a, uh, a YouTube sensation or their celebrities in their own right. And it's always kind of like, I've always found it really funny when I've been working with coaches on the street and then guys will come over and stop them, uh, obviously because they're fans, but they'll come over and stop them in the way that they have been taught or what they've learned from that coach through watching their videos. But what I want you though to do, and this is something that will be so beneficial and improve your conversations with anyone that you're talking to, not even just people that you're attracted to, but just having normal conversations. And that is to just develop your own way of talking. Don't literally copy exactly what uh, a coach has said, um, because what does tend to happen is that you get guys who are watching a coach on YouTube who has got a very different personality to them rather than watching someone or using information or skills from someone who is just a more confident version of what they want to be. And they then think they're being clever by using like the lines and routines or just yeah, just statements that that coach has made in their interactions and they've tried to apply it to themselves and it just doesn't work. So the best guys that I know who get really good at cold approaching are the ones who develop their own conversation skills or they ask the questions that they are genuinely interested in knowing from the people that they are talking to rather than thinking like, oh, well, if I say X, I will get result Y, which will lead to Z. And that's not how any conversation should be. It needs to be incredibly natural. And you do that by finding what you want to know about a person. So if you are using lines and routines, or if you're kind of trying to use uh, things that coaches have said in videos that you've watched online, don't get me wrong. If you're very new to this, it's a crutch. If you are scared or very anxious of going over to talk to a stranger and you just don't know what to say, then sure, use use the odd line or two because you know it's been trial and tested. You can see what kind of results you can get to from that. And if you probably use it yourself and you can work on the delivery of it, then you will get that same kind of result as well. But ultimately it's not about being the personality of the person that you're watching. It's about being your personality and finding your voice in the conversations. And when you do that, you're going to have more authentic conversations anyway with people and you're going to form really good connections. So certainly for guys who want to have relationships, it's better to try and develop that skill early on rather than, you know, years upon years of just watching content on YouTube and then you just not learn anything new except for just literally being a copycat of a person that you have watched online. And that's not how the best relationships are formed. And certainly, uh, I think guys that I have known over the years who have fallen in that trap they haven't had the best relationships or the relationships haven't lasted very long because once they do get to, uh, or when they start slowly transitioning into this normal version of themselves, which they just haven't developed, they've come out of this character or persona that they have, um, again, copycatted from a coach, then yeah, they're just not a likable person or they're not the person that, uh, the women that they are attracted to are attracted to back. So if you can learn to just use the content that you've learned online as just as a crutch, and certainly once you've gotten over that hurdle, go, right, you know what? I want to have more authentic conversations with people. Then I need to be asking questions that I want to know, or I want to be using my jokes or my humor or 
how can I develop my own seductive skills or conversation skills that mean that when I meet someone that I'm attracted to, they are going to be attracted to me for me. So I am, I do hope that you can take this advice on board. Um, absolutely. It's something that I wish I had learned very early on. And certainly I know it's something that I want to pass on to so many other people because I don't think guys realize as well coaches or the best coaches they have found their own way of talking to people and of course as soon as that content is put online it becomes like the creme de la creme of content that oh if you do this you'll get that result but these are just normal guys as well any coach is just a normal guy and they have found their way of talking to people because they have asked things that they are genuinely interested in. And I know if you can develop that skill yourself, you will get those same kind of results that coaches do, um, if not better. So I hope this video was useful. I'd love to know your thoughts on this as well. Which coaches are you copycatting? And also, are you, what would be a good question? Are you using the stuff that they're saying and do you want to break away from it and what things do you want to be asking that would be more authentic to yourself as well and I think the answers from that would show other guys who are maybe in the same bubble just how much that everyone also wants to develop their authenticity and have better connections with women rather than just saying the odd thing that they've learned online. So like and subscribe to the channel if you can. And if you need help with this, if you want a third person perspective that's going to listen to what you're going through and, um, and, and be able to tell you like, no, you need to ask this kind of question or that kind of question. Stop following this coach. Stop following that then I can help you with that as well. And if you check out my website in the link below, um, you can find out how. So thank you very much for watching and look forward to more videos coming from me in the future.